Hey guys, hope everyone is doing well. Today we're gonna to cover the process of sanitizing the water system on an RV. It's a simple process that involves running a sanitizing solution through your plumbing system to kill any bacteria or germs that may build up over time. Even if you don't drink water from your taps and you use bottled water, it's a preventative maintenance process that in my opinion, everyone should do at least once a year. It's a simple process, but there are some very important steps that you need to know about before you do it. We hope you stick around. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is empty your fresh water tank. And if your gray tanks are close to full, you wanna empty those as well because we're gonna be putting water back into those gray tanks. Next, any water filters that you have on your plumbing system should be removed or bypassed at this point in time. The only exception is the filter on your water pump, which you might not have even known was there, but there probably is one there. For this video, you can leave that one on. You don't have to bypass it. The next step is to access your water heater bypass valves and switch them over to winterized mode. This is the setting that you use right before you run antifreeze through your lines when you winterize your RV. This is a very important step and the reason that we're doing this is because the solution that we're going to use contains bleach. The inside lining of your water heater tank is made of metal. Bleach is caustic and corrosive to metal. And even though we're using a diluted solution, you never wanna have bleach inside your water heater. Now, some manufacturers are going over to a two valve system. My RV has a three valve system at the bypass at the water heater. What happens under normal operation is you have cold water coming through this line, going into the water heater, it gets heated up and then comes out this line and goes to your hot faucets. You're gonna to wanna to close the cold line going into your water heater and also close the hot line coming out of your water heater. When these are closed, the valves will be perpendicular to the line that they're on. Now water's still gonna try to get into your water heater, so what you wanna do is open this bypass valve that will allow the cold water to flow through this line and back out to the hot faucet. When you open a valve, it should be parallel with the line that it's on. Now the solution in the lines will run through this cold line, up through the bypass line, and back out to the hot water faucets, avoiding any contact with the water heater. Now, depending on who you ask, you may find a bunch of different recipes for a sanitizing solution. Today, I'm gonna to show you what we have used since we bought the RV in 2017, and it's also what Grand Design recommends using in their owner's manuals. The solution is just a small amount of bleach mixed with fresh water, and you're going to want to use a pure bleach, nothing with dyes or perfumes in it. The magic number here to determine your solution is 7.5, and let me explain how I get that number. So here's the solution. We're going to use a quarter cup of bleach, which is also two ounces, per every 15 gallons of fresh water tank capacity. To simplify, that equates to one ounce per every 7.5 gallons of fresh water tank capacity. Don't worry if you're getting confused, you don't need to memorize that. All you need to do is take your fresh water tank capacity, let's call it 60 gallons. You're gonna divide that by 7.5 and you're going to get a number and that number is how many ounces of bleach you're going to introduce into your fresh water tank. So for example, let's say your water tank is 60 gallons. You're gonna divide that by 7.5 and you're going to get eight. So you're going to use eight ounces of bleach in your solution. My fresh tank capacity is 52 gallons, which divided by 7.5 is 6.9. So I'm gonna need about seven ounces of bleach for my solution. Now you don't just wanna add seven or eight ounces of bleach into your water tank because your water tank and your water lines are made of materials that could be damaged by pure bleach. So we wanna dilute our bleach into water before we put it in our fresh water tank. So for every two ounces of bleach you need to use, you can dilute that into one gallon of water. For example, if you have six ounces of bleach that you need to use, you can dilute that into three gallons of water and put that right in your fresh water tank. I use a bucket to dilute the bleach and the water together and I just pour it into my gravity fill. Some RVs have a suction hose at the connection panel and you can introduce the mixture into your fresh water tank that way. No matter what you do at this point in time, you wanna get that sanitizing solution in your fresh tank. After that, go ahead and fill your tank with fresh water. Next, you wanna run the water through each faucet in your RV. Don't forget to do hot and cold. 
Once you smell the bleach coming through the faucet, which you will, just turn that faucet on and move to the next one. One thing you're going to skip is your toilet. Don't run this solution through your toilet. Your black tank will have bacteria in it that you introduce with your black tank treatment that will help eat up the solid waste that's in your black tank. Bleach can kill that bacteria, so you don't need to sanitize your toilet. Now, once the solution has been run through all the faucets, excluding the toilet, let it sit for about three to four hours. After that, simply drain your water tank, fill it up with fresh water, and run that water through all the faucets until you no longer smell the bleach solution. You may have to fill your fresh tank a second time and run that fresh water through all your faucets until you get everything flushed out. A good time to sanitize your RV plumbing is when you're dewinterizing, but you can do this process at any point in time if you really want to. Just remember, once you're done flushing everything out, you're gonna wanna switch your water heater bypass valves back over to normal operating mode. The crossover valve here in the middle should be closed which means it's perpendicular to the line that it's on. The cold and hot lines going into and coming out of your water heater should be open, which will be parallel to the lines that they're on. You can now go ahead and reinstall any water filters that you removed or bypassed at the beginning of this process. Feel free to leave any questions or comments down below in the comment section, and we hope that you found this video useful and easy to follow. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope you like and subscribe, and until next time, Happy camping, everyone. After that, go ahead and... <clears throat> after that, go ahead... After that... After that, go ahead and fill your fresh water tank... <laughs>